All right, 642 is your seven got the door. We're talking clear skies. Look at the sunrise from Conway. It looks beautiful out there, and of course, it's going to be a fantastic Friday. Clear skies allowing those 40s and 50s this morning. North Myrtle Beach, good morning to you. No issues out there. Uh, no fog up there as well. Jeep Jam, obviously, this weekend. Here's the Jeeps getting ready, and they're lined up just below our camera. They're about to head out there at 7 o'clock, and we'll be sure to stream that again. Uh, for the big event. I want to remind you for all your weekend events, you can download that WMBF First Alert weather app, scan the QR code, or just search WMBF First Alert. It's a free app tailored to your day. Temperatures going to be in the 50s right now. You'll notice the wind out of the north behind that cold front. We'll go throughout the day. Going to be a lot of sunshine. Temperatures in the low 70s by lunchtime. Then eventually mid 70s in Conway and in Florence. 76 there for the PD. Not a bad one. Maybe it's happy hour for you today. Maybe it's the Pelicans event. Maybe it's Friday night football. Whatever it is, temperature is going to sit in the lower 70s and eventually dip into the 60s as we head closer to 8, 9 o'clock. But I do want to give you the first alert to the changes that are going to be coming in for the weekend. And it's another cold front that will be stronger that will come in for your Sunday. Not a lot of moisture associated with this one, but just enough to where I think we might be able to see a couple of sprinkles. You'll notice that front moves in rain starting late Saturday night and throughout the day on Sunday. We'll hold on to some clouds and an isolated shower as we go throughout the day on Sunday. Notice it's more clouds than anything and a drop in those temperatures. We'll be at 80 for the afternoon on Saturday beach day, maybe the last beach day of the season if you want to do it. Notice 60s by the afternoon there on Sunday under cloudy skies and that rain chance at 20%. Weekend your forecast as well for inland areas 83 down to 68. So about a 15 degree drop uh, with that cold front coming through. If we don't pick up any measurable rainfall in Myrtle Beach, this streak will continue and it's not only going to continue uh, into Monday or Tuesday. It would be well into next week in the weekend. The drought will continue to worsen. We'll get a new update next Thursday, but if you missed it, abnormally dry conditions and now 8% of South Carolina under that moderate drought. So what does that mean for next week? We'll start off pretty comfortable next week. And as we head toward Halloween, giving it the first alert to not a bad forecast. Temperatures going to be in the mid to upper 70s. A nice day for the afternoon and by the evening, 69 degrees. It's comfortable. We're talking around sunset as the kids are heading out trick or treating. Maybe a little bit warmer if you're taking the young ones out, uh, the really little young ones uh, as we go into the evening there on Halloween. Want to remind you it is Friday, another episode of Weather or Not as we prepare you for some of those events for the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold has a look at what you can expect. All right, it is Friday and coming up on today's episode of Weather or Not, we're going to continue our series of Jenna's spooky Halloween weather. She's going to be breaking down the science behind those spooky green skies sometimes seen during severe weather. We're going to take a full look at that weekend forecast, all of the events around town. Latest update on any prospects for some much needed rain. We'll also continue with our coast to coast segment as well as see it, snap it, send it, highlighting your pictures and videos in our Friday happy hour segment. Some of the highlights of the week. Again, that's all coming up on today's episode of Weather or Not on WBFnews.com.